What's up, Boulder, Colorado? I did. What, when I when I post, it's, it's what, what what God gives me. <laughs> it's not it's not for you or you or you. It's not like that. It's just something that comes up in my spirit that that I've been doing this for during the thirty years. Um, Today we've got several great news stories for you, so we're going to need you to watch this video like your whole life depends on it. Our main story today is about Coach Prime being called out on Twitter. Now, for those of you who may have missed it, music mogul Suge Knight decided to throw some heat at Coach Prime last night. Plus, we're going to talk about Colorado State's coach going after Coach Prime's mom and Colorado landing another massive transfer. So, Grab you a cup of Starbucks, sit back, and get ready because this is the prime time for college football. Our first story today, we're going to talk about Suge Knight's trash talking. Now, recently on Twitter, he posted a video of Coach Prime dressed up like Madonna and lip syncing like a virgin. The video was obviously a joke, but Suge Knight's comment regarding it wasn't. We're showing the video to you now on screen, but Suge Knight commented with it, would you want this to be your son's head football coach? And I'd like to personally answer that. I have three kids, and I'm more than happy for them to play for Coach Prime. Furthermore, why would any kid's parents listen to advice from somebody who has been in trouble with the law several times? Suge needs to stay in his own lane here. And some backstory behind that video, Coach Prime is really good friends with Madonna, and that video was a complete joke. Rumor has it, Coach Prime may have even dated Madonna back when they were younger, but who knows there. Now, you guys know us, we like to keep it positive here on the channel, but every now and then, somebody has to get told. And I'm like Dion, I'm a lover, not a fighter, so, Suge, please don't come for us trying to catch more trouble, but we're going to ride with our guy. We're going to defend Coach Prime and say that Suge probably should just mind his own business here. There's a whole primetime army out there that he certainly doesn't want to have to end up fighting with. And I'm not even talking about myself. I'm talking about you crazy people in the comments who will literally jump in front of a speeding bullet for Coach Prime you'd certainly jump in front of somebody with Twitter fingers as well. And what do you guys think about Suge Knight's comments? What do you think about him coming after Coach Prime? What do you guys think about the backlash that he received from it? Let us know down in the comments. Next, let's talk about Coach Prime and Colorado State's coach, Jay Norvell. They had a post-game meeting at midfield earlier in the year after the rivalry game. And for those of you who may have forgotten about it, Coach Jay Norvell made a comment earlier this year about when I talk to grown-ups, I take my hat and glasses off. That's what my mother taught me. Now, episode three of Coach Prime reveals the interaction between Coach Prime and Jay Norvell on the field after Coach Norvell famously said, congratulations, and I was never talking about your family. Now, Sanders cut him off and said, oh, you was talking about my mama. Norvell said, no, I wasn't. Sanders barked back, telling him, yes, you were. Now, look, we don't know if Norvell was indirectly talking about Coach Prime's mom, but the man really stepped in it. He very much so poked the bear. That's a rivalry that will continue to be played in the future, and I'd imagine that Coach Prime is not going to forget about it. Coach Prime doesn't hold grudges, I don't believe, but he certainly will fight for his family and fight for their honor. And you know the motivation for some of those players when Colorado took on Colorado State was heavy. And you know they were very much into making sure that their coach and their coach's family's honor was defended. Now, what do you guys think Prime should have said to Norvell? Let us know down below. I'm interested to hear your takes on this one as well. Lastly, today, we're going to talk about Colorado landing another massive transfer. This guy was highly sought after. Everybody was after him, and you may not have guessed it. He was a former Vanderbilt wide receiver, Will Shepard. He committed to Colorado. Now, he's 6'3", 
200 pounds. He's got over 2,000 yards and 21 touchdowns in his three years at Vandy. A ton of production and an absolutely epic addition to bolster Shador's targets. I could kind of see him filling in for that Xavier Weaver spot that will now be vacated by him running out of eligibility. Coach Prime's weapons are and have been really good in his time in Boulder. But I think there's something about this transfer that a lot of people are missing. Not only is Will Shepard a really, really good player that a lot of people wanted, a lot of teams were targeting, and a lot of teams were going after, Will Shepard also does something else for you. He gives you one more option that doesn't have the team so much relying on Travis Hunter. He gives you one more option that lets you kind of move some of that focus to Travis playing on the defensive side of the ball. You guys have talked about it, and I've seen your comments when we've been talking about this offensive line, and you've commented over and over and over again, we've got to upgrade the defense, and you're absolutely right, we do. The defensive line has to take a step forward, and other positions on the defense have to get better if we're going to compete for the Big 12 next year. But... Having one of the most dynamic players in the country and on the field at all times on the defensive side of the ball is going to help that. Now, it all starts in the trenches, and it all starts up front. And Travis Hunter can't guard somebody for 30 seconds if the pass rush can't get home. I get it. But I do believe that getting more and more skilled talent, more and more guys at wide receiver that you can kind of work with over there will free up Hunter to do more on the defensive side of the ball. And... I truly believe that he is special no matter where he plays, but he is on another level playing defense. He is the perfect wide receivers cornerback because he's got such great ball skills, and he is a nightmare for opposing defenses. And him not using up that energy on the offensive side of the ball will be huge. Now listen, we've got less than a week to go until signing day. It's Friday. Weekend's coming, and then you've got a three-day sprint until early signing day. Do not be surprised if Coach Prime has some fireworks up his sleeve. Do not be surprised if you hear of some really big things happening. You need to make sure that you're locked into the channel so that you don't miss any of that. We will cover all of it. Try to cover all aspects, whether it's recruiting, the transfer portal. Obviously, we did game coverage all year for the 12 games that Colorado played. And we even break down when people are taking cheap shots at Coach Prime on social media. So lock in with the channel because you don't want to miss any of it. This is the most exciting time of the year outside of the season. There's nothing like Saturdays in the fall. I get it. But recruiting in portal season is absolutely insane. And you never know when news is going to pop up. Never know when we may drop a video randomly. Never know when we may hit you guys with something that's unexpected. So hit the subscribe button. Join us here at the prime time for college football. Listen, the support and how much you guys have commented and shown love and really been there for us over the last several months has been phenomenal. This offseason is going to be a ton of fun as Colorado moves on to the Big 12. This year is going to be a lot of fun. And if you guys have been with us for this journey, for this ride, we so much appreciate you. We're not slowing down anytime soon. Going to keep cranking out the content. Going to keep making videos for you guys to enjoy. Listen, we've had a blast doing this, and we're going to keep it going. Thank you guys for your support for not only the channel, your support for Coach Prime, the Buffs, and those kids out there in Boulder. We appreciate you, and thank you for watching the prime time for college football.